good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure images, but we do have a few things to discuss. Now, I know a lot of people were posting these images up, a lot of things to discuss, all those things, man, but I have more intel for you. I got more intel for you to dive into. We do have more detailed looks at what some of the gears are actually going to be for some of these figures that are upcoming. We actually have a lot of stuff to cover, and it actually confirms some of the stuff we've been saying over the past few months on the channel, which is absolutely beautiful to see, but let's dive into these new images that we got from WWE and Mattel. Let's start things off with Elite 95, then we'll dive into Elite 96, the Legends figures, all the different things, man. Let's start off with Elite 95. We do have a look at Big E. Now, we did discuss this yesterday that he's actually a part of Elite 98 as well, but I love the way this figure looks. It is the same head that we've seen like three times now on the last three Big E Elites, so hopefully 98 will have a new head sculpt, but the double jointed arms look great. I love the white boots. Maybe we can call for some cool action figure surgery fix-ups or something with his old figures, or I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely think of something to do with the Big E, but it is solid. It's the same head. You know, it is what it is. It's a solid singles Big E right here for Elite 95. We also have a look at my man John Cena. This figure looks incredible. I love the shirt. I love the hat. The armbands look great. I don't like that the hat doesn't fit the head very well. I think I may switch the head to something else so that the hat can go all the way on because I just hate the way it sits up so high. Like, this is what the hat looks like on me most of the time if I'm supposed to wear, like, a regular-ass hat. If it's not a New Era hat, bro, it's not fitting my head. It's got to be a 7 and 5 eighths New Era hat to fit my head. It's just not, like, no random hat is going to fit me. It's just not the way it is, man. This is what it looks like if I put on any hat that's not New Era 7 and 5 eighths. It just, it just is not deep enough, man. But the John Cena looks great. He is the GOAT. I love the new removable armbands, the double jointed arms. Great formula, great head sculpt, fantastic John Cena. I love this figure a lot. It looks great. Moving on, we do have Jimmy Uso, but I love the accessories. I love that we're getting the lay there. You get the Uso's hat, which is going to look great. I love that they're in black joggers here. Now, the one thing that I'm going to notice immediately, bro, is I swear to God, this is Jey Uso. This is not Jimmy Uso, man. This is not Jimmy Uso. I do not believe this is Jimmy Uso. I just do not see it. I like the gold chain. I love the Uso's hat. I think that you can make some really cool fix-ups. I'm absolutely going to get two of these so that I can make a Jimmy and Jay Uso in the black joggers with different head sculpts. I don't care. What I have to do, I gotta make it happen. I definitely gotta make it happen. But this head sculpt looks to be Jay Uso. And I think they used an image of Jay Uso on the back of the packaging of Jimmy. And even Steve from Mattel commented on the forums and said to throw him in action figure jail because uh, I think they know that they messed this figure up somewhere down the line. So that's just uh, that's just one of those things. It says, now that Jay Uso also appears on the back of the Elite 95 Uso figure, can we admit it? Mattel became confused while making the figure and gave Jimmy some Jay features? And then Steve said, take me to Wrestler Court. So there you go. Take me to Wrestler Court. And even if that's the case, I don't believe this figure is even accurate to SummerSlam 2021. I believe they had red in their gear, right? It wasn't gold. I'm pretty sure it had red stuff, and it was like shorts over tights, and there was a lot of different things going on with it, so lots of weird things going on with this figure. I just know that at the end of the day, when I do get this figure, when when you know when I get a couple of these in hand, I'm going to make a Jimmy and Jay in black joggers. I've been asking for it for years and years, and I can finally do it now with double jointed arms. It's beautiful. It's great. We'll have red joggers, white joggers, and black joggers, and it'll be a fantastic day. But moving on, we do have Shotzi Blackheart. Beautiful looking figure. I love this figure. I think this is women's figure of the year. I, I think this may end up in the top 10 figures of the year when it's all said and done for Mattel. Love it. I think it looks great. I like the interchangeable hands, all the tattoo work. Head sculpt looks great. I like the tongue out head sculpt. I think it would have been cool to see like a regular face sculpt as well, but I like the expression we got, the green hair, the helmet. This is a badass figure. And there's also what? That Marvel Legends tank coming soon, right? It's the build a figure. Maybe you could pair those together on the shelf or, or an entrance or something for photography. Who knows? But Shotzi is looking really damn good here. I like it a lot. And I just noticed they just have Shotzi on there. No Shotzi Blackheart, but Shotzi He's looking good in Elite 95. We also have a look at Eddie Guerrero. Now, we've looked at the Chase and the regular versions. You have sort of your Los Guerreros look, and then you have your black, purple, and gold look. I like both figures. I'm just not big on the head sculpts. I think I am going to change the head sculpts. We'll see what comes of that. I just am not a fan of this head. It looks like a Jax, you know, sort of ruthless aggression style head. I am not a fan of that there. It also looks like the torso is a different skin tone than the arms, which we'll have to see. But it does come with the old classic WWE Tag Team Championships, which are really cool. But I don't know. I'm not really feeling this Eddie Guerrero. I do like it from the neck down. It's just that head sculpt, man. I'm, I'm not really feeling it there. We also have Bobby Lashley, which is a straight up re-release, repaint, whatever you want to say. They had plenty of other gears they could have went with. This is just a straight up repaint of the Bobby 
Bobby Lashley from Elite Series 89, but they did fix the head. He's no longer looking off to the right. He is looking straight ahead, which is an upgrade, but I would have liked to seen the all white or the, you know, the black and white tights, like, you know, the full white with the black graphics instead of black tights with the white graphics. So that's kind of a bummer, or even the red tights would have been sick as well, but it's literally just the Elite 89 figure redone there. We also have a look at these Battle Pack figures. Not a big fan of these. You know, you got Hulk Hogan and Andre, which is probably the coolest one. They give Hulk Hogan the classic articulation, which I think this pack is really cool, like men on card or just a simple display, but it's not, you know, it's nothing groundbreaking, nothing that's going to shatter the earth. You also have your Bobby Lashley and Miz 2 pack, which is kind of eh, you know, I'm not really feeling it too much right there with Bobby Lashley and the Miz. And then lastly, we do have AJ Styles and Omos right here. Re-release of Omos, re-release of, we've seen this AJ a million times, just different tights. But before we move on, guys, we also have a look at Elite Series 96 that Ringside Collectibles put up for pre-order. If you guys want to pre-order these, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but Elite Series 96, we did put this up on the channel like a month and a half ago or two months ago, whatever the case is, and they put it up here. You have Dewdrop, Kofi Kingston, Ilya Dragunov, Hulk Hogan, Brock Lesnar, and King Nakamura. Now, I do have some details about what these figures are going to look like. Now, Elite 96 Brock Lesnar is going to be that same Elite we saw at WrestleMania Access in the jeans with the updated smiley head sculpt. Should come with maybe some cloth goods up top. Hopefully, we'll see what this figure looks like at SDCC in a few weeks. I think it's like three weeks. We will get more images. This was an album dropped on WWE.com with all these images. I'm sure we're going to get more images of new figures at the end of this month for San Diego Comic-Con, but we also know what King Nakamura is actually going to be, and he's going to be in his white gear, so we called that way back in the day, and this kind of confirms Rick Boogs for Elite Series 98, which we covered the other day. If you guys missed that video, we detailed Elite Series 98 and the full wave, and that kind of confirms that and wraps it in a bow, because if you've got King Nakamura, you're going to want to wrap that up with Rick Boogs, so Rick Boogs will come in Elite 98 to pair with your King Nakamura in beautiful white gear, and I don't think he comes with the Intercontinental Championship, but he should have some cloth goods and things of that nature. We also have Dewdrop. We have Kofi Kingston, who apparently is going to be in his Skeletor outfit, or his, you know, his really cool purple gear that he wore, and I remember when he came out in this, I'm pretty sure I tweeted something about, you know, make this an Elite form, so hopefully maybe they were listening, I don't know, but it should be a really fun formula, because it was a little bit different. He had gloves on, he had like, uh, short tights on, he didn't have the full kick pads look so this will be a really interesting formula to see what they do for Kofi Kingston here for this figure. Hulk Hogan apparently is going to be a really one-off Hulk Hogan that we've never seen before. Apparently it is going to be I forget what they called it but it's I don't remember exactly what they called it but he had like the the tag over his neck and he had the Hulk rules and gloves. It was a really wild look specifically for what he was going to be wearing there so I, I don't have all the details on that. Maybe somebody can let me know down in the comment section below. I don't have the details on that but it is a very interesting look look for Hulk Hogan for this Elite Series 96 figure. But those are some details of Elite Series 96 that not a lot of people are putting up, I don't think. But there's Elite Series 96 in its entirety. I thought it was a pretty damn good set. It should be fun. I'm excited to see what these figures look like, you know, what formulas they use, and all the different things. Again, we're going to see what these look like in three weeks. So just, you know, just be patient. We're going to see what these look like. It should be really awesome. But we do have more Elite images here of Legend Series 15, or no, it's 16, right? I think it's 16, featuring Rey Mysterio, the Acolyte and Molly Holly. Love the One Night Stand Rey Mysterio. I think it looks great. I despise this head sculpt. I do not want to see this head sculpt anymore. It's been around for almost a decade now. They have been using this head sculpt so much for Rey. I have seen people take the new basic Rey Mysterio head sculpt that I really like, like the straight face with the army green head sculpt. I've seen people customize that and put it on their SummerSlam elites. I've seen people take different stuff and, and really bring it to life. Like, I, I think it was I think it was Lesnar time on Instagram he took the the one I'm talking about and he customized it to match the SummerSlam 04 paint job. It looks incredible how damn good it looks with the accurate mask color and stuff like that. The likeness to Ray is just so much better and it crushes these head sculpts that we've been seeing. So I think that it would be really great to see an update of some kind to this head sculpt, man. We do not want to see this and they're, they're giving it to us a lot this year. It is a lot, man. It is definitely a lot of different versions that we're going to be getting with this same head sculpt. So it's going to require a lot of work to, to redo it there. And I hate it because we're getting so many Ray Elites and it, it sucks because they're all going to have that terrible head sculpt. But really cool figure nonetheless. It should pose around really nice. 
ECW on the mask. You do also have the Acolytes, which look great. I love the way Farouk and Bradshaw look. You know, I'd probably use a different torso for Bradshaw, but the head sculpt looks good. The double jointed arms. I think the shoulders and arms look great for Bradshaw. I think from the waist down, he looks good. It's just that torso. It just really looks kind of skinny for Bradshaw around this time. Farouk is looking super duper jacked, which he was. World Tag Titles. Head sculpts look really good for these guys. I think these have been on people's dream elite list for a really long time, so it's really nice to finally see these guys come to fruition. And then, of course, you do have Molly Holly in not only her regular gear, like regular Molly Holly backstage, you also have your Mighty Molly, which we saw way back when. And these look great as well. I, I think that they are perfect representations of Molly Holly and Mighty Molly to go with our Hurricane figures. So, I, I think these are freaking amazing. I love the way these look. They, they did a fantastic job on these and the way they look all completely together there. Speaking of which, we also have the Ruthless Aggression Elite line picking back up with Series 2. We have Rey Mysterio, RVD, and Booker T. This Rey Mysterio looks great. I love the white gear. I've been begging for white gear Rey Mysterio. We finally got some new white elbow pads, some white gloves to plug into other figures. Years. That same damn head sculpt, man. I just, it makes me want to rip my face off. But you do have, you know, all of his torso tattoos are missing because it's an early on Ray. But it's still a really cool figure. I, I love it. I, I love the way the look of it is. The Booker T is amazing. I still can't find my WrestleMania Elite from years ago. But this looks really good with the white jogging pants. I mean, you can put those jogging pants on tons of different guys. I'm thinking of Cena fix-ups. I'm thinking of Brock Lesnar. I'm thinking of other guys you could put those on. So that'll be really fun. Maybe a Roman Reigns fix-up. So that'll be cool for Booker T. Maybe these figures will be highly you know you can get your hands on them at multiple copies at walmart i wanted to do a men on cart set and a loose set for the ruthless aggression elite still have yet to get my series one but the nwo gear for booker t looks great i wish we would get more booker t's i'm really glad they plugged him into this line here even though it's just a repaint and, uh, and double jointed arms i'd like to see an updated head sculpt as well but booker t's looking damn good in his white jogger pants and then we have rvd who's also looking good i know it's just a repaint of the elite 91 but it's still really good. You know, you could, I'm going to switch out the knee pads. Intercontinental Championship. Would like to see a new head sculpt, but unfortunately that's not going to come to fruition, I guess. But hopefully, maybe. You know what would be cool? Give us a ringside exclusive RVD since he's still under a deal, apparently. Or give us an Ultimate Edition RVD with all the bells and whistles from One Night Stand or the Money in the Bank briefcase. There's definitely options for something they could do there. And hopefully they take advantage of him while he's under contract with RVD. But the Ruthless Aggression Elites are fantastic. We've been begging for something like this for years and years at least I have, so to see it come to fruition is super duper awesome for me. And then last but not least, we do have the War Games play set, and we have some basic figures that I want to run through real quick. I know we looked at the battle packs, but you do have an updated War Games set here with Pete Dunne. Super outdated Pete Dunne at this point. Does come with some cool accessories and stuff. Nothing that I'm, you know, too, too excited about, but it is there if you guys care about the War Games set. I do like, it's actually a decent looking basic. It's just super outdated now. Uh, but it is what it is. And then, of course, we do have a bunch of basics and battle packs. The same top talents. Look at these top talents figures right here. I swear to God they've released this John Cena like 62 times. I've seen this John Cena five times. They, they put it in the 2018 top talents, the 2018 basic set, the 2019 set, 2020 set. I've seen this John Cena in this green shirt with this head sculpt a million times. The Randy Orton is a pretty cool basic. And then the head sculpt they use on Ray right here is pretty solid too. It's kind of your old school Ray Mattel basic, which looks pretty cool. It's kind of a cooler basic depending, you know, it's got the older arm articulation it looks like. So that's kind of cool. It does have the pins in there, but I don't know. I, I think RKO right there, Randy Orton wins the, the best figure in this set. We also have a look at some other basics. Look how god-awful this Rey Mysterio basic is, man. I, I just think this looks atrocious. I don't know what we're doing here, but the pink and white. Look at the deco on the back. It just looks so plain. Uh, you know, I, I like the gauntlets on the arms. Maybe you could fix that up, but this head sculpt's also old. They need, like, Rey Mysterio needs a desperate head sculpt update, at, at, like, 10 years ago. You know what I mean? So, there's that. You also have a Bobby Lashley, very plain Jane. Nothing to write home about. You got a Matt Riddle, which looks kind of weird with the way his arms and everything look there. But it is just a Matt Riddle basic figure. You have Tamina, and for some reason, the eye paint on this figure specifically, the Chase version in the... I don't know if it's the blue and black or the other version that's the Chase, but the blue and black one, her eyes look like an alien or something, man. I, I don't know what's going on there. She also has like a little headband, which is cool, but 
her eyes look alienated or like she's possessed or something. The other version looks way better. Like, it's just some paint apps issues, I guess. You also have a Stone Cold Steve Austin basic. We've seen these before. Gigantic shoulders. Just ugly looking basic, man. The jeans with the shirt. It's just... I don't know, man. They just... I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. But this Stone Cold's eh. Roman Reigns also looks very odd with this old head sculpt. It looks a bit too big for the body. Uh, it is cool to have the gauntlets on there. But it's still just the basics. Just don't basic like they used to. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't know how to explain it. Cedric Alexander... Hurt Business and Chase Gear. This man hasn't had a new head sculpt ever. He got one in Elite Series 67. 30 series later, he's got the same head sculpt. Unbelievable. I, I just, I don't know. I do not like these basics because they are basics. And my boy can't get a new Elite with new head sculpt. You know what I'm saying? It'll probably be like Elite 104 or something like that before this man gets another Elite. Who the hell knows? But you also have Natalia in the set, which is plain Jane. And you have Finn Balor, which is plain Jane. And his elbow, you know, pin is not painted there. I'm not going to put too much looking into it because I don't know if they photoshopped it in the other photos but some of the photos have it where he does have you know the thing painted and then some of them don't so I don't know what's going on there but uh that pretty much wraps up all the figures we wrapped up all the figures including Elite Series 96 so that is everything we covered through everything there lots of stuff to get through and I hope you guys did enjoy what you what you thought I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of all these things down in the comment section below lots of stuff to cover you know I did not expect to go this long but I wanted to get all those details out to you guys and I know a lot of people put stuff up yesterday but I wanted to cover it here again anyways. But if you guys missed out on the MDT Monthly Battle Royal, definitely go check that out. If you guys missed our Elite 98 leak from the other day where we discussed the series, definitely go check that out as well. But I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on everything. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. And Gamer, this shout-out goes to Gamer who said, MDT, did you watch NBA Free Agency? And I'm constantly watching NBA Free Agency in the offseason. You know, I am a Lakers fan there. We've made a few moves, not nothing impressive. I'd like to go after some bigger names. But honestly, I do not like the position we are at right now with LeBron and AD. I love AD. And, you know, I, I grew up with LeBron. You know, I've witnessed his whole entire career. I just don't like where we're at right now. You know, I just don't like where we're at. I'd like to move. I think other teams are in a lot better positions than us right now. And I just don't, I don't know. I feel like we're trying to shortcut our way to a championship signing superstars. But I don't know. Maybe we'll be healthier this year and our depth will be better. We'll have to see. But I've been a Laker fan all my life. So it's not just a LeBron thing. You know, I was there, you know, while Kobe was there way in the early 2000s, man. So that's where it picked up for me as a child. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching NBA Free Agency is always entertaining to watch i'll definitely keep my finger on the pulse of free agency tracking as we see who is competing next time but i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys next time have a blessed day and if you don't you cross the line i've been